Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley, and this is part of a crash course on Framer, a tool for designing and prototyping projects. On this video, we're going to learn how to use the slider component. The sliders can be used to show progress, change volume, adjust photos, define a price range, and more. Pretty cool stuff. Let's get started. The slider component consists of three layers. The slider itself, the fill, and the knob. The slider is the track. The knob is used to change the value of the slider. You can change the appearance of these layers just like any other layer. Let's add a slider component to our project. Here, I just have an empty artboard and I'm just going to jump straight to the code. And here, there are two ways I can add a slider. One is by using the snippet and it's just going to components and add the slider. And there you go, it just adds a slider for you. Another way is by writing your own. So I'm going to go ahead and call my slider a slider. I'm going to say equals new slider component. And there you go. I just created a slider component. But right now the slider component appears all the way to the top left. So that's probably not exactly what I want. So I can always edit this by going here to auto code and I start editing here. Or I can just start writing where I want it. So the first thing that I want to do is align it to the center. So here, I'm just going to say that it points align to the center. There you go. Now it's aligned to the center. And here, I can start adding a uh, size to the knob size. So for example, I'm going to say that the knob is going to be, I don't know, 48, 48 pixels. It's a little bit big. <laughs> so I'm going to say that the height of the actual slider it's going to be probably 72. Okay, that's probably too big. Let's say that is 24. 24 looks good. And now I can start editing my slider. I'm going to go to auto code and change the color of this. So I'm going to say that instead of that color, I'm going to add a little bit of a yellow around there. There you go. That's looking good. Now I can use it on my projects. I can put it on the bottom, on the top. I can always arrange the alignment of it here on the position on AutoCode. Pretty easy. Okay. 